close your eyes and try to lay claim to your breath without laying claim to anything else in the body. In other words, you're just going to be with a sense of energy. And as for the other parts of the body or other aspects of the body that build on top of that, you can just put them aside. Wherever it's hot, painful, cold, whatever. Try to ferret things out. Probably this is called anupasana, where you make up your mind you're going to follow one thing and keep watch on that. Keep track of it and not let yourself get distracted by other things. So if you're with the breath, you don't have to be with the pain, you don't have to be with the, the heat. And you find that the breath has a big reserve of strength that you can draw on. It's always coming in, always going out. The heat may feel oppressive, but it's not going to snuff out your breath. You would have to get a lot hotter than it is here for a long, longer period of time to, to do that. So the breath is still there, and the breath can still be a source of strength. The important thing is you don't go laying claim to other parts of the body. There's a passage where Venerable Sarabhuta points out that once you lay claim to the body, well, the nature of the body is it can be invaded by all kinds of things, which means that your territory is going to be invaded, and you feel that you've been invaded and violated. Of course, if you don't lay claim to these things, they're just going to be facts of nature. We know that there's a lot of heat someplace in the world. There's a lot of cold going on someplace in the world as well. Think of Antarctica right now. They're in the midst of their winter. The fact is we're not there, so the cold doesn't affect us. We're not out in the Sahara where we're not being burned up. And so you can have, think the same way about your body. The body may be hot or cold or painful or whatever, but it, you're not there. You're here. The body is something else. You remember that the heat and the pain or whatever are not coming at you. They're not a personal affront. They're just there. And the pain is going off someplace else. The heat is going off someplace else. It's just that you're the one who's been dragging it in to make it an issue in the mind. If you don't drag it in, it just does its thing. It's not aimed at your mind. It's just there. And if you can see this distinction and see how it changes what's going on inside, it changes your perception of what's going on inside, it will actually change what is happening in the mind. That we can take the strength that comes from the breath and use it to put up with what otherwise you would find something you couldn't put up with, to bear which otherwise you couldn't bear. So see the breath as your friend and ferret it out. Keep track of the breath and let the rest of the sensations of the body take care of themselves. They don't need you to keep running a running commentary on them. Because who's listening to the commentary? You are. Who's getting upset by the commentary? You are. If the commentary is not there, then there's nothing to upset you.